Gosh, Dr Fish, you have a lot of really horrible-looking instruments here. And it, it smells so medicinal. It's actually making me feel a little sick. Smell is very important. You know, aromatherapy and all that. You can buy all these oils, but they don't have one called dental surgery. You know why? Because it's not very relaxing. Could you slip back, please? Most people find this smell rather upsetting. You've got to live with it every day. <laughs> you must be a bag of nerves. Ah! What's that? What's that horrible thing? What are you going to do to me? It's just a mirror. I need to look in your mouth. Why? There's nothing wrong. Leave my mouth alone. Oh, you said you had a toothache. Well, yes, I do. So I need to look in your mouth. So I can help you? Well, OK. Just don't hurt me. Please. Oh. Oh. Good morning, dental surgery. Oh dear, no. I'm afraid we're absolutely chock-a-block today. I can fit you in next Wednesday if that would be suitable. Very good. See you then. All the best. Y yes, you take care as well. Th thank you. Bye-bye. Ah! 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 Uh, send in my next patient, um, please, Dorothy. Um. Oh. Mr. Orion, please. Yes! <sighs> you have reached Dr. Robert Fish's dental surgery. Thank you very much for calling. Please do not hang up. We value your call and are very sorry that we cannot be here to answer it personally. Oh, oh dear, I'll have to shorten that a bit. I only got a B minus. Yet five years ago when my old brother Sidney handed in the very same paper, oh. he got an A. Now how can that be? It's the same paper. Well, shouldn't you be doing your own work instead of handing no, in your brothers? No, Dr Fish, you're missing my point. It's the same paper. It should have got the same mark. I was counting on an A. Oh. Phew, what a day. I'm afraid you're in for more. We're fully booked until the middle of next week. What's happening? I mean, have they decided to take fluoride out of the water supply? People eat too much chocolate. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, people eat just the right amount of chocolate. I used to dream of being so busy. You see, Dr Fish, dreams can come true. Come on, it's clear that you used your position as an MP in Her Majesty's government to gain favours from this woman. I resent the insinuation. But it's not, it's not an insinuation. I'm making a specific assertion. You are suggesting by way of implication look, that I... Look, you had an illicit relationship with her. I'm not implying it. I'm saying it right out in plain English. I did not come on this programme in order to be subject to this kind of abuse. OK, let's talk uh, about your book. Oh. I'd be pleased to do that. It's about an MP who was involved in a huge prostitution ring. Yes, that's right. I had this idea somewhere. Oh, it's time to get up. Oh, this is breakfast cereal. It's for dogs. It's for humans. Bob! Ah! Oh! Stop it! You can't put food in your bowl if you don't calm down. Oh, I can't feed them. They're too hungry. You're not handling them properly. Just be firm. Sit. Sit. Sit right now. Don't shout at them like that. You might upset them. They're very sensitive. Oh, for heaven's sake, Margaret. They aren't sensitive. They're just greedy, smelly lumps who eat and poo everywhere when they aren't sleeping. That's not true at all. They practically understand English. Look, would you like to go for a walk, doggies? <laughs> See? Oh, they react that way no matter what you say. Look, do you want to go to the vet and be put to sleep, doggies? Do you? Yes? Yes? <laughs> See what I mean? These dogs have a brain the size of a peanut. Oh, don't be so rude. OK, maybe a Brazil nut. Anyway, just because they don't understand English doesn't mean they're stupid. Watch this. 
There you go, Elizabeth. Take that to Daddy. To Daddy. That's right, sweetie. Off you go. No, sweetheart. To Daddy. No, Daddy. T -t Take it to Daddy. Oh, stop it. I can't stand it. It's too painful. <laughs> well, anyway, you're the one who wanted dogs so much in the first place. Oh! oh I think I've broken my tooth. What? I bit on something hard. Really? Let me, let me take a look. Hmm. What is it? It's just a small chip on your... Premolar. Call the surgery and make an appointment. I can probably fit you in next week. Make an appointment? What do you mean? Well, I'm really busy this week. A chipped tooth isn't an emergency. Well, surely you can fit me in somewhere. Look, I've got a patient with a chronic abscess. His face is all swollen up, something horrible. Now that's an emergency. Well, I hope you at least give me a discount. Oh, Margaret, you're just being silly now. Mm. Mm. So... Mr. Chadwa, how's um, how's business these days? Oh, uh, I don't know, eh? How's Mrs. Chadwa? Oh, she's probably due for a cleaning by now. <laughs> That's nice. Glad to hear it. All your tension is wound up in the ball of your foot, right here. Oh, oh gosh, yes, that's really good. I'm concentrating my energy completely into the centre of your foot. Relax. Oh. Hello, Dorothy, it's Margaret. Can I speak to Bob, please? Thank you. Hello, Margaret. I've had that appointment. Oh, yes, y your appointment. Oh, dear. Um, I'm not sure... Look, I just wanted to get my tooth fixed. I know, but I'm really busy. Uh -huh. And you don't want me fitting a crown when I'm tired, do you? I mean, you're not just another annoying patient. What? I only want uh -huh. the best for you, sweetheart. Hell! I tell you, this upturning activity is a real Ooh. blessing. You know how difficult Ooh. things were last year. Hey, I know. We'll use the extra money to go on a nice holiday together. Oh, my God! What is it? Someone's opening a practice right across the road. Right across the road. How can they do that? Another dental practice? I can see it from here. Well, don't worry. Starting up from scratch is very hard. I'm sure he won't last. Yeah, but, 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 but he'll have all the latest equipment, huh? video... Nice lighting, healthy plants. Oh, you're busy because you're a very good dentist. I'm not that good a dentist. I'm the only one in the area. Oh, really? He's set up across the road just to drive me out of business. It's a wicked, malicious act. How can someone be so unfeeling? Is this what has become a dentistry? Maybe a little competition's good. You know, it'll keep you on your toes. No, competition is bad. I want to be the only dentist. I came into this profession to help people's teeth, not to have a price war on... Denture plates. You're just getting yourself in a tease. Yeah, well, well, two can play at that game. <laughs> yeah, if it's a fight he wants. Oh, I'll give him one, all right. I'm not going down without a struggle, not me. <laughs> oh, no. If he wants to play dirty. There's a Dr Stanway here to see you, Dr Fish. Oh, my God. What is it? He says he's opening a practice across the road and wanted to say hello. Uh, hey! Look, he brought these lovely flowers. What? I better get them in water. Hello. Uh, hey. uh, uh, I have to go. Mrs. K-Pop, Mrs. Trimble. Gosh, Dr. Fish, can I just say it's a real pleasure to meet you. A real pleasure. I'm Richard Stanway. I'm just opening a little practice across the road, as you may have noticed. It's really great to see how you've set things up here. So many patients. Uh, yes, well... Um... I've just graduated from Cambridge. I know it's uh, one thing graduating uh, with honours, uh, but another thing altogether to be practising in the real world like this. Uh, I just wanted to meet you and tell you how much I respect you and value what you have achieved here in this community. Right. I uh, can only cross my fingers and hope that I'm somehow able to do justice to this, to uh, carry the torch. 
Ah, uh, It's yeah. going to take a long time and a lot of hard work, as well you know. To carry the torch. I hope you don't mind if I scratch at your door a little. I'm <laughs> so nervous about everything. Having you so near for advice or whatever, it's a real godsend, I tell you. Anyway, I, I should get back. I don't have a receptionist. And who knows? I might even get a call. <laughs> I, oh, I almost forgot. I couldn't trouble you for a cup of composite resin, could I? Mm. It was very nice meeting you all, Mr. Warburton, Mrs. Kapok, Mrs. Trimble. Oh, Dorothy, thank you. Lovely. We uh, we must go for a drink sometime. Cheerio! Wow. What a charming gentleman. Nice. Nice. So polite. Just How lovely. <laughs> a cucumber? I didn't think so. Hello. My patients are defecting across the road. Oh, uh, do you think you might have time to treat me then? Take care of someone's teeth for ten years and they repay you by jumping ship. Just like that. Well, if you have a bit of uh, extra time, uh, maybe you could attend to my chipped tooth? They'll come running back. Oh, yes. But they'll not be too late. It'll have driven me out of business. And I won't be there when they need me. <laughs> I'll teach uh, them. Aren't you being just a tad over dramatic? People can be so fickle. And what do they even know about this Dr Stanway? He just shows up with a pretty face and a diploma from a correspondence school. Really? What, you can get a diploma by correspondence? Well, no, he, he graduated from Cambridge, actually. He, he's probably pretty good. Cambridge? Wow. Oh, now you too. I'm going to change. Uh, what about my chipped tooth? You know, Dr Fish, it's very interesting, this dentistry game, because, uh, of course, you rely on bad teeth to keep your business going. So, really, Britain could be the best place to be in the world, bad teeth-wise. And I read there's actually a proven cure for tooth decay, but, of course, the multinationals squashed it like a bug. <gasps> Damn! And if there's no tooth decay, there's no need for teeth cleaning, fillings, crowns, caps, dentures. I imagine that would uh, have a slightly big impact on you. It's hard to get by on the odd tooth polishing job. You, uh, you heard anything about that? Hmm? This chair vinyl? The uh, bloke across the road's got a uh, leather chair. What? How do you know? Mm. I've got this through the door. It's, uh, free gum. That's pretty good. Free fillings. half price Tuesdays. Ah, it's all gimmicks. Do you want hot dogs and balloons and, uh, and a pretty boy dentist, or do you want an experienced pair of hands in your mouth? Well... I know what I prefer. This will take about uh, three minutes to set. Hmm. <laughs> He's managed to find a receptionist. Ah, she's probably never worked a day in it. Wait a minute. Oh my God! Dorothy! But... <gasps> okay. I'm going to keep very calm. I've got to find a new receptionist. Okay, uh, that, that's not a problem. I'll write that down. It'll probably be good to write down any appointments that come in. Uh, hello? 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 I, I want to make an appointment now, and I don't want any more excuses. Oh, oh Margaret, thank God it's you. What? Why? What is it? It's Dorothy. She's with that dentist across the road. Oh, well, maybe she's just been friendly. No, she's cleared out her whole desk. Oh, dear. Oh, OK, well, don't worry. Oh. Come home and I, I'll sort you out. Yeah? We'll order a big pizza. OK. Bye. Bye. <sighs> so, Susan. It says here you are a friendly, vivacious, outgoing person with a great sense of humour. Yeah. 
I see. So you worked for nine months at a dental practice in Romford? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had a great time there. Dr Baker was such a riot. I just loved it. <laughs> he was a riot? Oh, yeah. An absolute riot. He would do this thing with his hygiene mask on the top of his head. <laughs> so you're good with people and animals and you have a real interest in uh, dentistry. Is that right? Yeah, dentistry. Yeah. Could be a laugh, I don't know. Yeah, why not? <sighs> you worked at a sausage factory for three months and you were a periodical distribution official. What's that? I handed out women's magazines at Piccadilly Circus tube station. It was good for me agoraphobia. So you've not actually had any experience at all as a receptionist? Is that a problem? Let me think about it. No, 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 no. <sighs> Dorothy. <gasps> oh, my God, Margaret. How, how could she? How could she do that? I'd like to look at your teeth, please. What, what do you mean? You wanted your tooth fixed so badly, and I can do it now. Oh, oh no, 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 that's OK. I, I'm not worried about it now. I think it's all better. A chipped tooth doesn't just get all better. I'll just have a look at it, thank you. Uh, no, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> just let me look. <laughs> You went to see that man. How could, how could you? How, how could you do that? My own wife. He's trying to destroy me and you're handing him the... the, 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 the or whatever. How could you do that? You betrayed me. That's unforgivable. Unforgivable? The, the way you treated me is unforgivable. You drove me to him. You drove me to see another dentist. You should be apologising to me. <laughs> <sighs> oh. <laughs> I know I neglected your tooth, uh, and I shouldn't have. It's just that I was so busy. I mean, any other time I... <sighs> I care about your teeth more than anybody's in the whole world. Now, uh, this is your desk where, where you sit. Um, there are some more pens in the cupboard. Nice telephone. I usually get in around 8.45. I'd need you here... I start at 9 and finish at 5. Overtime is time and a half and weekends are double. Oh, oh, oh right, right. Well, that's great. That, that, that's great. Welcome aboard, Penny. Hello, dental surgery. I don't know. Can you call back this afternoon? Look, I just started here a minute ago. I need to sort some things out. That's right, I just hired her now. Her name is Penny, and I think she's going to be really great. What kind of experience does she have? I don't know, I think this is her first job. She's got an aptitude, I, I sense it. She's very young and just so sweet. Well, maybe not sweet. Just charming, in a kind of unique way. Oh, it's not a charm contest. She's got to be able to do the job. That's the main thing. Mm, I wouldn't necessarily agree with you there. She's got to deal with the public. Charm plays a big part of it. Does she know anything about dentistry? Oh, just a minute. I'll call you back. Police confirmed this morning the so-called Dr Stanway had previously set up a bogus orthodontic surgery under the name Dr Beckman and a bogus fish and chip shop under the name Harry Ramsbottom. 
Well, now the only fish he'll be wrapping will be uh, cod. Uh, no, haddock. I'm, no, I'm sorry, this analogy isn't going anywhere. Let's go to traffic. Thank Penny, you. did you see what's going on out there? They're arresting some man for impersonating a member of the dental profession. Look, it's all here. He puts patients under anaesthetic and then molests them. It's disgusting. What? Dr Stanway? It's not real. You mean it's all... Oh, my God, that, that's fantastic. Uh, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, gosh. I wonder what's going to happen to all that brand new dental equipment. Oh, well, he, oh, he seemed a little too good to be true anyway. Hey, what about Dorothy? Oh, the assistant was taken in for questioning. She may be an accomplice, they don't know. Oh, my God! Margaret! Repeating our top story, a man was arrested today on suspicion of impersonating a dentist for the purpose of molesting patients. The so-called Dr Stanway had previously set up a bogus orthodontic surgery. A spokesman for the police said that he'll be cleaning plaque of the inside of a toilet for the next few years now. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's have a look at the weather.